this is Cummins uh, ISX and the truck is international LT 2019 and we're gonna change the inlet knock sensor so for that we need a penetrator or W40 which I already spread it here so we need to unbolt the sensor right here and uh, take the harness all the way down to the side of the block and change it so in order to open the sensor we will need this kind of adapter bought it at uh, Harbor Freight 38 or 22 um, you can use something like that which is oxygen sensor remover the same thing 22 and it's 22 here oxygen 22 mine a uh, little bit broken here so it's kind of playing at the sensor so we need the adapter and what we're gonna do we're gonna insert the adapter right here mm -hmm. I already lose it a little bit so I need to find the right position you can unscrew this uh, heat shield but uh, there will be nightmare if the bolt will be so it's already moving a little bit so we already almost unscrew the sensor and then sometimes this engine is uh, this truck is uh, uh, like 500,000 miles so it's not that rusty as you can see it's pretty good shape so uh, it was easy to break that sensor well I heard that sometimes it's a pain in the ass to take it out so basically I'm already done right here and the reason why we're taking this out because the check engine came out I'll post the error code and as soon as we check the error code I found out that's a inlet sensor so removing the adapter somehow the heat shield is completely destroyed here uh -huh. here we go it looks pretty dirty I don't know why I was giving it a problem so maybe the sensor itself or something well it looks well that's a penetrator so penetrator helped a lot and the new sensor I bought the original from Cummings it cost uh, almost uh, six hundred dollar and they're charging you the core almost two hundred dollar that's the sensor number you can basically buy it on eBay the only difference on the eBay can be that light of the wire 
and the heat shield but you can do the heat shield yourself so let's compare yeah they're identical so we just need to find the uh, where is the the module goes and then we can go from there so we are under the truck and the sensor right there so the block is right there it's this what is it 13 millimeter no sensor is 10 millimeter this is a plate so we got two 10 millimeter for the block we just need to disconnect we just need to disconnect the sensor from its block and see or we can just unscrew the just unscrew the sensor itself and bring it down so we can play with the connector I guess I'm gonna do that so there is no way to get to that small bolt from the bottom the bolt is right there I'm showing you with my finger right there eight millimeters so it's better to coming from top eight millimeter and then take it down unscrew it 